who are probably here on time know that because they've been with us <laughs> They're many like, we hear times. that every time. Yeah, well, I never know somebody new is listening. Let's see. I'm not. New best friends. It says we're live, but oh, I'm not I've got a commercial. Okay. i got a commercial with Flo <gasps> for Progressive. Well, then I assume we're ready to go. Okay, are you blessing the... Yeah, I'm blessing. <laughs> okay. Hey, friends. Happy Wednesday, Friends Day. I'm so excited you're here with me. Uh, in, here with me in the studio is Emily. Hello. I still said that a little <laughs> funny. I think it's because I say here twice. Yeah. And it kind of bugs me. We're going to paint H is for Hen. Uh, the photo is from Unsplash. Nita Payne took the photo. The link is in this video description. There is a traceable. I can see the commercial on my iPad. Uh, the traceable is on my website, annietro.com. We're going to get right to it. We're going to fly. <laughs> I can see Emily making motions behind my phone. We're going to fly right over my head to my art tables. We're going to take a ride. Yay. Okay. And then I don't think there's too bad a microphone noise. There was a little bit... Um, just in the middle of the live last time. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know what it was. Was it the opening of the paint? No, oh. it was just like... Weird. I don't know, scruffy noise. Hmm. I don't know what to call it. Yeah. My tape was elsewhere. Oh, so yeah. I'm a little it, slow. It actually was down lower. I happened to notice it earlier today that the tape had fallen. Okay. Hope that was a fun ride. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, I'm trying to, I'm looking. I could scoot that up a little bit. Yeah, you have a little room at the top if you want to scooch up, yeah. Yeah, I did, but it's still, I'm looking at my phone, which it will, there's more room on YouTube than my phone. Mm -hmm. I, honest to gosh, you guys, I set this up <laughs> beforehand. I'm going to move my masking tape up so I don't get too off course here. So this is an 8 inch by 8 inch uh, canvas panel. Actually, hang on, I'm going to I'm gonna put a couple things away because my little table gets really full. I'm going to try to paint from the reference photo I showed you in the beginning so I can have my iPad open. Oh, sorry, I just bumped the camera. Um, this is an 8 inch by 8 inch panel from US Art Supply. I like them. I found them through Amazon. They have a website too. Are you like twisted him or is yours always tight? Mine's not tight at all. Okay, it felt tight when I moved it. Um, I painted here. Let's get out my paints. I wrote on my, I have so, I have painting ornaments and a lot of other things, so I write on the top of it what it is <laughs> so I know which palette it is. Okay. So I thought for fun I would use Thalo Green, I believe it is. Thalo Green. And then I ended up only using a little bit of the blue green down here because when I had the blue coming up here, it looked like sky. And I didn't want to give it a weird perspective like I did in the duck video live, if you happen to be with us for that one. Uh, Mars Black. Mars Black, I can see people. Or is that you commenting? <laughs> no, that's people. Yay, hi people. Uh, <laughs> titanium White. I bounce between heavy body and basics. Um, mostly it's what I can find, but like with the CAD yellow that's coming up, I go through a lot of yellow and this is less expensive. CAD yellow medium hue. Uh, raw sienna. Because I thought that looked a lot like the hen, color of the hen. And then I used cadmium red medium. Okay, I think that's kind of an old tube. And then so I mixed a blue green and really ended up not liking it. So I mixed a yellow or green with my CAD yellow and my phthalo green. And then a, a really yellow green. And I just dark on the bottom, side to side strokes. A little lighter. I was trying to get a little grayer, but I also got a little yellower as I went to the top. Because the darker, I think, also will anchor. The hen. This is similar to Albert Egg Eggstein, which is linked mm -hmm. in this video description, um, except for he was a little chicken egg sitting in the grass. We've got a hen sort of up closer. When I put my traceable on it, it transferred really well, except I couldn't see the face. 
So then I took a um, white charcoal pencil and kind of sketched it in and then I painted it in because I realized I need it like this close to my face but then I can't see to paint it to get it in my, for those of you who have progressive lenses. So I went ahead and put one layer of the face in there so I didn't lose it and I could see it because I can't see it through my phone. My phone's in the way from you looking at it. Okay, I think, I think I'm going to use, uh, I thought it set the table and Emily was probably taking a breath in. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to try to use this bigger brush. It is a three quarter inch flat brush from Royal and Lane Nickel. And, but I might bounce down to a half inch from Artist Loft. Um, and I'm what I'm going to do, because we have a pretty dark background, and the one reason I picked this photo, it's got nice bright sunshine on it. I'm going to paint the white so we can see where our highlights are. And then I'm hoping that then the um, raw sienna pops on top of it, or actually it'll probably be more yellows and maybe some oranges. Okay, um, I am done. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty long. That wasn't. That was a long set. The table. Well, I ended up painting the face this morning because I'm like, I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be that would be pretty, Eddie. I don't know if we would be able to see it really. I don't. I could hold it up, but then when I hold it up, I can't see. I'm already not liking this brush. I don't know that I could see it. You know. Mm -hmm. This brush might be a little too big. Um, let's see. So in the chat tonight with us, we have Cindy, Suzanne, Susie, Lucinda, and now I need to scroll, <laughs> uh, Leanne, Hema, and Bonita. Hey, thanks so much for joining me. It's, it's nighttime here. Well, I guess you know that. I mean, I don't actually, I don't know what their YouTube says. 6 p.m. Central time for us. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yep, yep, yep. 6 p.m. Central. Or is that in your copy? Yeah, well, it's in my copy, which is why I thought, well, that's kind of dumb that I was saying it again. Yeah, it's in your copy. I thought that was YouTube telling that, but it's, the live has just the little lowercase i, so it's you, yeah. Yeah, well, the YouTube says what time, but I think it might be their time. Correct. It will. Yeah, it adjusts. Like, my podcast that they shoot in California, it, it always adjusts to my time. Yeah. So. That's all right. Oh, I just realized that I got normal pop. Uh-oh. <laughs> I hate normal pop. I didn't even notice. Oh, you mean... I the can color. Instead of diet? Yeah, I'll tell Chase he can drink it all. <laughs> Chase, it's yours, whether you want it or not. Yeah. So I'm just painting in where I think the, the sun bright light highlights are going to be. And you can see it dries a little darker, so it might need more than one coat. But I'm just going to maybe only do a couple, two coats on some of them. Let's see here. I think I might put one here. Um, cool. Let's see here. Cindy, uh, so since I listed everybody, I'm just going to go back and read a few things, uh, comments about the chicken. Or the hen, sorry. Well, it's a chicken. They're all chicken. Yeah, but we're cheating a little bit for the H and the alphabet. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, H is for hen. Well, so H is for hen. A, a rooster's a chicken and a hen's a chicken. Yeah, they're all chickens. Um, Cindy said, excited about um, seeing you paint this chicken. Thank you. I'm excited to have you here. Let's see here. Yeah, that's Suzanne. just a little big. I'm going to go down in size. It is a little big. Um, Suzanne said, looking forward to tonight. Susie says, yay, chicken. <laughs> Leanne says, so excited for a chicken. People like the chicken. <laughs> they sell well. They're popular. They sell well. Bonita says, love chickens. And oh, I bet. Hema said, the face looks so adorable. It's getting there. Um, I had it up there for a screenshot. The eye needs color. It still needs some work. But... Okay, where else maybe we want... I'm just going to take the corner of my brush and kind of hint at some feathers. I don't know if I need to do that. Sometimes I do things I don't need to do when you paint, when I paint. Um, practice and sometimes you just make mistakes and fix them. Okay, that's actually lighter here. Maybe I could take a little, wash a little off. 
I'm going to make this a little lighter. So in the traceable, I tried to give you some of the biggest shapes, feather direction. Hopefully that helps you. <laughs> uh, Tinker popped in the chat and says, wow, look at me, only 10 minutes late, crying laughing emoji. That's a new record. <laughs> That's awesome, hey Tinker. <laughs> well, I don't, I, you don't need to say where you live, but I mean, you have kids and dinner and I would imagine you're busy. I'm just putting in the light areas in case you just joined me. And I'm putting in white and I'm hoping then the color will pop. You could do a filbert. Mm -hmm. kind of, would you get kind of a roundy end finish or no? You know, if you, if you did paint it on the end, you really don't. So I can find a filbert. Here's, here's a filbert, about the same width. Because I'm pretty much painting on its edge, so it's almost the same exact looking stroke. Maybe I'll keep that out in case I need to switch quick. So then there's a highlight here. Okay, and then we could, like there's little hints where it catches. I don't know how detailed we want to get. Okay. Now we could just say that's it and not put any more in, or we could put, I'm going to go down to a smaller brush. So if I use a bigger brush, it's going to go quicker, except for I was fighting the, I wasn't getting a very good stroke with the corner. This is probably a number one round from Artist Loft. We love a number one. Yeah. I don't know if I put my Simply Simmons some other place, or it's just, I put it away because I keep grabbing this one. It's got a little... Maybe not this strong, but I kind of like that it's got some light spots coming up here with some feathers. Joy Lynn says, hello, sorry I'm late. Farm animals needed to be fed. Oh gosh, don't apologize. Thank you for coming. I'm just painting the highlights, hoping they'll pop when I paint over them. Sometimes, a lot of times I'll save the, I'll talk about in videos, I save the white for last. Mm -hmm. This time I am not. Because the background's green? Because the background's dark. Because I'm going for a lot of contrast. Mm -hmm. And I don't totally know if it's going to work because it says the raw sienna is opaque. But mm. I can make it more transparent with water or a little matte medium or whatever medium you have in your studio. I mean, I just scratched my head with my paintbrush in my hand. Do I? I don't know if you can tell if I painted my hair. Oh, is it on the back of your head? It'd be about right here. Okay, no, there's nothing there. But I'm kind of gray. <laughs> Truly, it's white. Is it kind of oh, white no. there? I think you're good. It's all right. I'll probably feel it when I... Yeah, it'll be just a little crunchy. Shower. Mm. Joy Lynn asked, do you find that... Um, often it's better to do lights first in a rare situation. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, you can do it any way you want. A lot of times I'll suggest save the whites for last. You can turn the lights on and then you can still have values to get brighter with. You could say the same for the darks. You know, don't do black, black. Um, save that for last. You can always go a little darker. You leave yourself some room to basically grow. Mm -hmm. Um... But I, like I'll be painting all of a sudden I'll want to put in whites. Oh, am I? Yeah, I'm in. Um, because I want to see how white I can get. Like, okay, if that's white, then I can't, you know, I need to go darker here and I need to go darker there. Does that make sense? So mm -hmm. even though I say sometimes save your whites for last, you don't overuse them. 
um, I'll put them in to gauge the values I can get on a painting. Gravy says, I usually find paint on the tip of my nose, lol. Well, I've been splattering ornaments. I've been finding it everywhere. I'm just adding a little, another coat of white here and there just to, if I do it everywhere, it's nowhere, but just to everywhere? kind of brighten some of, yeah, brighten some of them up <laughs> even a little more. I think we might. And I kind of want some in here. I can always come back and darken it too. I'm being a little, takes me a minute to warm up too. Okay. Does that come in enough? I think that comes in enough. Okay, let's mix a couple colors. For those that celebrate Halloween, it's Sunday or Monday. Monday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, wow. I still need to get candy. Chase keeps saying we'll get it at Costco, so I haven't, I haven't gotten any yet. So hopefully we don't get like the, and I want candy that like, in case, because it's our first year in the house, I don't know how, we live right by, like, we're not, mm, never mind, don't say where I live. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say where I live. Everybody but, knows we're in Omaha. Um, yes, but I assume I would get quite a few kids. But I don't know. Because I would assume so, too. I don't see many, like, on the street. I see a few in the neighborhood. But also, and I can't tell if, like, I don't know. Like, I, I really just don't, I don't know. I don't see many out. So I want candy that I'll eat and finish up if I don't, if I don't get as many as I think I will. Yeah. Well, I bought the one bag that had the Almond Joys in it because I knew you liked those. Mm-hmm. The kids always, well, not always, but mostly bypass the Almond Joy. So I'm just mixing an orange. And then I mixed kind of a light beige. So a lot of yellow, not much red. That's actually probably more red than I want it, but it'll be okay. What else might we need? Oh, we might need kind of a dark brown. Sometimes I think, why do I, why well, I, I paint on this plate because it'll fit for the lives and the videos. Sometimes I run out of room. I grab a little Mars black. Oh, I was a little scared. I think I could have went a little. A little stronger. Now watch me go too strong. Um, Diane asks, um, what brand of paint do you use? Oh, did I show it in the beginning? Again? Yes. Um, oh, Diane okay. just arrived uh, That's like a minute ago. Totally okay. I just I had a little mini panic. <laughs> um, I use Liquitex Heavy Body and Basics um, because the caps will stand up so I can just stand it on a shelf. You could also hang it by the, like they do in the store from the, the punch hole. And because the caps are big and easier for me to get off, um, I was doing that even before I had any arthritis in my hands because I just couldn't get the caps off of the, some of the goldens. Although the goldens, I think, have a cap. Opener? Opener, thank you. I think I went looking once. You did. I've been a little shy with this black, but it's I know it's strong. I think that'll be... We don't need to go too dark because we can always add black to it as we go. Okay. I'm going to clean off my palette knife. Palette knife used to be from Blick Art Materials, but I've washed it a couple times and it took the paint right off of it. Or cleaned it. Oh, you know what? might be kind of good after I did that. Scoot that over a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> Let's do a little itchy scooching. Do a little um Yeah, you need a a bigger situation there. Yeah, I didn't put out a ton of colors, but I'm 
cream mixing to hopefully make it go a little. I just, okay, I just wiped my thumb off, thumb off to get the black off, and then I got yellow on it. I'm going to have a yellow fingernail. <laughs> I just have a rag handy for those types of situations. Well, it's not too bad. I got most of it off. I was thinking maybe how about a little bit redder brown. And we don't have to be exact. Um, the face already, I think I have too light. And then I'm not getting quite the intense red I got even on the printout. Um, Gravy says, I use a junk mail credit cards for palette knives. LOL. Oh yeah. I think you used a gift card or something in your mm -hmm. palette knife, how to use a palette knife video. Yep, I've used it a couple of times. I've used a plastic spoon. Plastic spoon. <laughs> Stuff works. Okay, I think we have enough colors. Let's um let's take a little black. Put it down in there. A little brown. I'm just grabbing with the corner of my brush because I don't want a ton of it just yet. We have nine minutes till our normal break. Okay. And so my brown here, I'm just going to, you could start with a lighter side too. I just decided to start down here for some reason. The neighborhood dogs want to be on mm -hmm. the live. I know. Yeah, I was thinking about closing the window. I don't think people, well, if they can hear it, it's not going to be that loud. If it bothers anybody, let Emily know. Yeah, and the neighborhood dogs were chit-chatting all day today. In your neighborhood? Yes. I like. I th At first, I thought they were all barking at something, like the trash came by or whatever, but um, yeah, I feel like they barked all day long. Huh. Like somebody left them out way too long. Or like, yeah, or like maybe, I don't know, it was supposed to get cold, so it's like it was the last semi-okay day, and then all the dogs are out. And then all of them are like, oh, my God, we're all out together. So then they're all just breaking at each other. Like the last day of school. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. hey. That's literally what it sounds like. Hey, hey. Um, Gravy says, it's not the tool that makes the art. Determination does? Question mark, question mark. <laughs> sure, yeah. A lot of times you can paint with whatever you want to. Um, I also think you need to practice skills. I didn't, I'm always practicing skills. I need to practice drawing. I keep telling myself I'm going to do that. Yeah, I start, that, oh, go ahead. Oh, no, I was going to say that little sketchbook series was partially so you would you could get back into drawing a little bit, and that one went by the way. I know, because I'm like, oh, I got to get this video done. I got to get that done. I got to, you know, like I'm working this Friday at the gallery. I got to prep for that. I mean, it's good. It's just, you know, mm -hmm. I always have a reason not to draw, really, mm -hmm. an excuse. Yeah. Yeah, because the sketchbook ones just live in your sketchbook and then go on, like, as a sketchbook video if you film it, but you don't frame them and sell them kind of thing. Yeah, that's okay. Um, Diane asks, um, question, what are you painting on? It's an 8 inch by 8 inch canvas panel from uh, U.S. Art Supply. I also buy quite a few from Michael's. It just kind of depends on mm -hmm. where I'm shopping and if Michael's... Michael's has had some really great sales. So uh, I thought, yeah, didn't we just get three 10 by... What is it? Was it 12 by 12s or 10 by 10s for 10 super by cheap? 10 10s. Yeah, they were buy one, get two free. Eric posted in the um, friends group that he had quite the haul. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were literally in a Michael's when I was like, did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> It was getting a little warm, which I don't know that it really matters. Because one thing nice is, like, if you want to mute it. So that raw sienna, of course, that's raw sienna and white. Ah, never mind. This is straight up raw sienna. It's fairly transparent. Oh, the raw sienna and white isn't, of course. Oh, oh yeah. Um, Diane says October is Inktober. I completely forgot about that. It is. It is. I. So you totally could have. Totally could have. We could have posted a bunch of sketchy stuff do ink things mm -hmm. or even uh, there's inktober at least like the illustrators that i follow and like the crowd that follows them inktober has turned into like you know people mostly do it on their 
like in Procreate on their iPad. So it's not just oh, so like old ink. School. Yeah, and I've seen people do painting and oh, color ink, color ink. Okay, see there, the white's really helping me. And then when it goes over the green, it's much darker. I like that. So I'm using a bigger brush, but I'm using it skinny. <laughs> Because I do that. Okay, I think I want a little... Oh, that's almost too red. I grabbed a little raw sienna. I don't like that. I'm going to grab brown. Just because I don't want it to compete with the wattle. Just kind of dabbing a little bit. Oh, I just saw a hair. Huh. Oh, there it is. It's an authentic original painting if when they zoom in they can see fuzz and hair. I'm sort of joking and sort of serious. <laughs> so I like to mix some puddles and then mix just variations next to the puddle. Um, you could mix everything as you go. I've talked about this before. I probably don't need to. Oh, Gravy points out they are just prompts. You can really do any art style. Yeah, I've seen a little bit of everything. I haven't really, like, I haven't seen sculpture or anything like that, but mostly just, like, it's a lot of iPad, Procreate. I have both, and I don't know what you, I don't know Procreate. I don't. I was going to learn it. I spent a little time doing a tutorial a year ago. You could do, um, Diane says, I use a variety of markers and gel, pan and gel pens hmm. um, and Ecoline. Um, you could do, like, Posca. You could play with your Poscas. I could it's a little Poscas. late. We got only a few days left in October. You could do one. Yeah, you could do, yeah, you could do one. Well, except for I'm pretty busy tomorrow and Friday. <laughs> Friday I'm working the gallery. I could do one at the gallery. I'm not going to take new art till Sunday. Yeah, painting on the green really mutes it, which I, mm -hmm, I like. Does. I don't mind that because I can bring up the values with, with layers. I might just, I might give up on this big brush. There's nothing wrong with it other than I want, occasionally want a little, little finer mm -hmm. tip. You technically have like a minute, two minutes for our normal time slot. Okay. I think I warned you. Usually I give you like a three or four. I think I gave you like a nine. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Actually, I changed my mind after I said that because I'm going to. That's really yellow. Well, I don't know if I might. I like that. it though. It'll layer nice. Yeah. So just get in there. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to switch brushes, but then I, you and I at, both at the same time look to see how much. I might go a little farther, which will throw us off. Or a little longer, I mean. Shapes. Lots of shapes. Oh, I'm going to mix a little yellow and white. Jennifer says, nothing's better than the old school inkwell and quill pen with a little winky face. Um, and Diane says, Ecoline, Echoline is a type of, because um, Gravy asked in the chat what that was. Um, Diane said that they are a type of marker by Royal Talons. Oh, mm-hmm. And they come in a wide variety of colors and are alcohol ink. Oh, yeah. They're so not light fast, though. Mm. Alcohol ink's great for drying, but don't use that on your acrylic paintings. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Oil. Alcohol's fine. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, I was like... Sorry. Mm. But I thought maybe it could do something I don't know about. No. <laughs> actually, water-based would be better. Well, yeah. actually, I'm not sure because, see, the alcohol... To get paint out of a brush, you use alcohol to get... Actually, I'm backing up again. <laughs> Retractors. Yeah, statement. I'm backing up the truck. Um, 
I'd be careful. I would use a water-based acrylic pen on a painting. An acrylic painting. Oh, I've got black. Oh, geez. Hmm. Nobody told me, but I've got black. I don't know where I got that black from, but under my nail. and. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that. The yeah. way you paint, your brush kind of covers it. Well, and I was, yes. I'm like, whoa. I must have stuck it in my uh, puddle and didn't notice. That's funny. I just don't want to get it on my painting. I'll be going, why do I have such a mess? <laughs> and then you try to wipe it with that finger. <laughs> well, I more. do. That's one of my blending fingers. Mm -hmm. hmm. I've never seen these markers before. I Googled them to see if, like, I see them in... Oh, wait. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen them. I've never used them. My light's coming from over here. I don't know if it's covered up completely. Yeah, I've never heard of that brand. I like their packaging. They kind of like the colors that are in the brush. They like, since it's alcohol, they like watercolor it, you know, water it down, water it out yeah. on the package, outside the packaging. It's kind of cute. I'll have to look later. So that orange is really thin, even though my cat, is my cat transparent? Where is it? It's an old tube. Oh, it's supposed to be all completely opaque, but the yellow is semi-transparent. Mm -hmm. But it's painting on like it's. I use quinacridone. Oh, it's not even covering. <laughs> yeah. Grab a little white. And then it's going to cover more than I want, maybe. Stuff that happens. Kind of go a little slower there. Just kind of varying the yellow and the orange and looking at my reference photo a little bit. I like having some sort of reference photo if I don't follow it. So I like, oh, how, how, you know, how, how's the eye or where's the ear? That kind of stuff. How does it look? Mm hmm. A roadmap if you get lost. Roadmap if I get lost. So I want to paint this orange, but I don't know if it's going to cover much. Maybe we'll paint it orange and come back. Yeah, that's interesting how much the... It, it must have a lot of yellow in it. Are you buffering on your end? I buffered fast. No, my iPad's okay. still going. Okay. So brush stroke direction helps you. You don't have to paint every feather. You can if you want to. Some people really like that. Get into ultra realism. It can be really relaxing once you get into it. Oh, it's starting to dry. I can feel it dragging. <laughs> mm. Dan says Royal Talons is a brand name that sells many different items made in the Netherlands. Yeah, I've heard of them. I don't know that I... I've never seen them at Michael's. I don't know. I, know. I haven't bought it, so I don't know. You know, probably not. Yeah. I haven't purchased it. My I probably haven't poked around enough of, like, Blix to... I bet they have some. They have all the fun stuff. Like the... Blick art material? Yeah, like the more, um... Not niche, but just, like... Be, they have like less they're not like crafty ish they're more they're an art store art, art store. store yeah art supply store it's kind of pretty it's pretty i like his little tail feathers um hema said or asks do you like to paint the subject over 
a dark base paint, for example, painting the chicken over green or painting over the raw white canvas? Do I like? I like both. Um, I think, it could, I mean, we've done some on black, which I think made not everybody, but some people nervous. Mm -hmm. It made um, you nervous. <laughs> but you can get, what made me nervous, yeah, first time, because it messed with me a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but you can get, to me, I think it's easier to get values and more drama on a dark background. But I probably mm -hmm. paint more white or medium color backgrounds. It's probably... Like the bears, like like a light background. Would you say it's easier to sneak up on it? I so, think it is. Like, look, I'm really, I mean, I've really got drama going already. Mm -hmm. To me, this is easier. Does that, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. It probably works your brain different, but. A little bit. Easier to sneak, sneaky sneak. I think it's easier to see the values. Mm hmm But I, that is pure opinion. I don't know if, if anybody would agree with me. This is actually more orange in my reference photo, but I'm more worried about the value. Right now than I am the um, color. And then, you know, you can always just say, well, I took artistic license and I didn't want to do X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. Oops, I'm gonna go darker. If someone finds your reference photo and starts shaking it in your face and asking why you didn't paint it this way. <laughs> I have not had that happen yet. <laughs> that could happen. I kind of want to, um, ah, I guess we're okay. I changed my mind. I will do things to remind myself too. Just why I'm not stopping to thank people for supporting the channel yet. I, I was, if we were going to get to like 45, I was going to hit you with a third reminder, but I didn't want to. I don't mind. It's funny. I didn't want to. That's what, I so appreciate you're here. I mean, I can, I, people do it by themselves all the time, but I can paint for the most part and you can check chat, which is nice, or boot, boot spammers and, you know, Google things and. Knock on wood, but we haven't. Tech support. We haven't seen the um, spammery spammers in a long time. Probably shouldn't have brought it up. I know. But someone I um, watched was talking about, like, oh, we, I must be streaming late because the spammers are in chat. Look how dark that neck dried. It's interesting. They'll dry a half shade darker. Acrylics will dry a half shade darker. And, but, uh, like, on a dark background, they're going to, I don't know how many shades darker and also depending on the transparency of the color you're gonna get that's okay we can come back with a layer which is gonna help it look better um, that's kind of what I was trying to get just the basic chicken in here oh I was thinking um, for titles I was thinking better than bacon oh Do you, I was also thinking henny penny henny penny if you guys, I love, I love Facebook in quite a while for title ideas. I love it when you guys. Yeah, I was just thinking like a name that starts with H was all I was going to come up with. Well. Penny Penny. But I don't know. We like to. You... It's kind of penny colored. It is kind of penny colored. I kind of liked that. Penny Penny. Well, and I kind of did, I didn't do Lucy, well, I did do Lucy Goose, but I renamed it Nosy Neighbor. And Nosy then, Neighbor, yeah. And then the Duck Duck Goose video. So it's kind of in that mm -hmm. sort of vein of... We need chicken names. Chicken licking. Chicken licking. <laughs> Henny penny, chicken licking. Finger licking. Finger Good. licking. <laughs> okay, write that down. Finger licking. I mean, but I always worry about, you know, because we get... Um, some heavy duty environmentalists in the one gallery. Yeah. Which is really nice, but I don't want to, like, you know. Yeah. I suppose I don't by, have like, to worry about every person's yeah. interpretation, but. You don't want to insult them by being like, look at this snack. I have this weird thing about <laughs> not wanting to hurt. Yeah. 
everybody, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but that's literally impossible. But I really do get concerned about it. You being concerned about hurting everyone's feelings hurts my feelings. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Just kind of dabbing. Finger licking. <laughs> I'm going to write your henny penny down and maybe other people will have ideas. Too. Well, I kind of ruined it a little bit too, jumping in with what I was thinking. Usually I don't have any well, ideas. Yeah, I, I mean, when you hit me with the henny penny, it was fine. But I've heard um, people come up with better before. You know? Oh, most, almost all my <laughs> titles, I would think, except for like Happy Cardinal, you yeah. know, because I just put Happy that on there. Um, someone's given me the idea because I'm not that good at it. Nobody's good at everything. Oh, that might be too, oh, it scared me. I was worried it was going to be a little too light. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We are at... 41. Yeah, I'm making M nervous. I just about have it in. No. Six, four. I kind of wanted to get a layer in. Yeah. Yeah. He already looks like, like so much more together. Big just brush. Just one layer. I painted a pair with this brush. I think it was this brush. It might have been this brush. And it really, if you can get into it, you can go faster. This is a one inch. I think this is a three quarter inch. Um... And the layers, you know, I mean, it really can help it look artier, looser. Sometimes I just can't get into it, though. It's funny. I'll use the corner of it when I want a little detail. Sometimes you don't load your brush up so much. I tend to really load mine up, and then you can get a better corner swipe. There we go. Like that. Ooh, Yeah. Oops. I like the extra little red in his tail. In my, it complements his or her. Pretty sure it's a her. Her Bonita's here. <laughs> yeah, the resident she's zoologist. Zoologist, yeah. Bonita. Whether she likes it or not, mm -hmm. she's like, "Why do I come to these lives? <laughs> these ladies." <laughs> oh yeah, Emma has some news for the live, and that's probably why I'm. I'm probably. I know. I keep clacking my nails, and I'm like bugging her. Mm -hmm. Just waiting. Yes, I'm almost can. there, kiddo. I'm going to put the top of the head in, and then we'll have a little quick thank you. I like the yellow around his edges. Yeah, I mean, really it's strong right now, but I like it too. Well, it's in mm -hmm. the reference photo. That's why I picked the reference photo. I see where you're moving. I like it. Oh, well, good. I'm glad you approve. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with a little quarter-inch flat. Number four from Artist Loft. I bought these in a pack. I think it came four. So there's, oh, maybe five. I can see two more in my, here. You wanna... They were kind, They were in the, like, the little plastic packs. So I bought them mostly for the liner brushes because I go through those fast. That one would splatter pretty well. Okay, let's keep one out. Um, raw sienna straight up. I hope this is on. Oh, that white is helping me. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> you just exposed all the tape, right? Oh, yeah, my, my <laughs> high tech stands. keeping my, my uh, mm -hmm. painting up higher than my palette. So it would crack me up, yeah. So that video is a little better, streams a little. Video, a video is the right word. Bonita says her. Yeah. We've got her. I think roosters have, I kind of went a little crazy with this comb. It's actually a little shorter in the reference photo. I think roosters have bigger combs and usually bigger wattles, if that's correct. I could go yellow up there. Mm -hmm. I don't think I will. Okay, and we're gonna do a commercial. Okay. So really, um, you could be done. I like to play with it more. I like to play with the values more. Like this is a little too flat for me right here. But I mean, you could 
say done. Done. Stream over. I don't think you ever would, though. You no. too. No. <laughs> I like. I yeah. See, I don't. I wouldn't like. I mean, it's actually kind of neat, but I don't. Yeah, want, I do like that. I don't want the green coming through. But you can use that. Oh, I forgot the. I think that's the ear. Somebody told me. That's okay. We can come back to it. Um, I want to uh, thank Lisa B for sending money through PayPal. Super appreciate it. Uh, Victor New York. Uh, somebody in Victor New York. I think last week they they bought. I don't know, three, four t-shirts now Aww. through my uh, anne-tro.pixels.com. It has all my paintings, well, most of my paintings on there. You can buy prints and t-shirts and mm -hmm. journals and puzzles and I'll stop. There's a lot of things you can buy. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's Sh Shohola, Pennsylvania. Ooh. Bought a snowman print. So it was a snowman I painted in black and white with the yellow stars. I think that was last year's video. Oh, uh-huh. Um, oh, that looks pretty good on the live. Mm -hmm. It does. So the, keep in mind when you watch uh, people painting on YouTube, it smooths it out. Because when I'm looking at it in person, it looks much more rough to me. When you do the close-ups, you can kind of see probably what you see more in person, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you catch all that. Oh, yeah, you definitely catch all that texture for sure. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a great way to step back when I look at the live. Um, and then I just want to say that the giveaway we had to do a take two... So it ends the, tonight at midnight, but if you still want to enter the giveaway for the pumpkin and the gnome, and you're listening, you can still enter over on my Facebook business page. The post is pinned to the top. Just search at Annie Tro or Annie Tro. And the next week, while I'm thinking of it, we, we start uh, November's ornaments, and the traceables are on my website. We're going to paint this reindeer ornament. And then Emily wants to show you guys something. So the the reason I've been antsy and reminding you how many uh, or when we usually take break is because oh don't blind see, everybody with that big thing. There's an added addition on my left hand <laughs> that happened at the pumpkin patch last week. Which is funny because I was literally like, I'm so excited for the pumpkin patch, but I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, Emily didn't know that was coming. So Emily is now engaged. And so Chase Man's my, He's not here yet, but yeah. My future son-in-law. Which is also why I was getting antsy because I wanted to say it before Chase oh, came in the chat. And then I if didn't. he was just started spouting. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Here's the sketch for the traceables of what's coming up in November for the ornaments. Yeah, oh, I didn't realize that, hun. I'm sorry I was going so slow. I could have picked up the pace no, a little bit. No, 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 no. He's been coming in like, oh, oh my, he's right here. See? Ah! I told you this is why. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chase, man. I see your 999 in the goat. Really appreciate it. Did you hear what Emily just did? <laughs> Last week he pops in during the hair dryer, and this week he pops in during the announcement. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was so excited. I was crying. Oh. I feel like Chase is one of my own. He's been around for quite a while. Yeah. I don't feel like, I feel like he's one of my own kids. Oh, I think right in the, during um, the break, Diane slipped in a question. Question, do you have a palette on your left side and the canvas on your right side? Yep. Um, so you have to cross over? So normally, here, let me, sorry, just hang on a sec. I can talk and pay, but sometimes I just don't. <laughs> Don't do it. So a lot of times I'm painting at my big easel, I hold my palette in my left hand and I paint with my right. Um, and even when I'm, you know, sometimes even when I'm painting and I'm not videoing, I'm holding the palette in my left. Or um, if I'm not videoing, I will put it on the right and then hold the painting in my left. But since I video or paint at a large easel and hold the palette, that's why it's on my left. Um, I know there's YouTubers who have it on their right, but they've got a setup. I could switch it, but I'm just so used to it. I got paint on my. I'm just so used to it for holding it when I paint a large painting. Because I don't have a place to set it when I'm at my big easel. I have to hold it. I th How many times have I said hold it? <laughs> Do you have to hold it? I have to hold it. So I hold it in my <laughs> left hand. So that's why it's on the left. What I like is I painted this background a day or two ago. And so I can, can clean things off. So, yeah, it's a little goofy. Mm -hmm. It's a little goofy if this is the only way I ever painted. The nice thing is I would, like, I already stuck my thumb in the black. If it was over here, I would have my hand in it, too. Um, 
I tend to drag my hand through things, so this way I'm not, I, I, can't, I don't do it as much when I have to go over here for it. I'm getting lots of congrats in the chat. Aww. Thank you, Hema and Susie and Cindy. And Suzanne had one in there. Oh, there we go. There's Suzanne's down there. And then um, Leanne and Bonita. And Chase, Chase literally said, wow, congrats. When did that happen? Wow, congrats, <laughs> Emily. When did that happen? Yeah, and, and should I be upset? <laughs> yeah. Who did that? Um, and then Leanne dropped $9.99. Oh, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. My microphone's probably on the front porch. It is. I got but I just bought canvases too, so I super appreciate it. Sorry, did I cut you off? Oh, no, um, I got a notification from Amazon. It's on the front porch. Probably is. Um, and Diane says, "Okay, I understand that." Um, it's a if little you're weird. holding the palette. It's just because that's how I'm usually working. And I, and I do drag. I wouldn't put my hand in it. I could try it. I could try it. Oh, and Diane says... Um, You're not the first person to ask. Go ahead. Uh, Diane asks, at the pumpkin patch, what is that? Um, let's see. Well, I assume pumpkin patches are probably different everywhere. Probably pe Some people probably just have patches of pumpkins. And that's just where you go and buy your pumpkin. Just go pick it, like a berry farm. Yeah, but or an um, apple orchard. The one that's in town is like pumpkin patch, so you can go on like a hayride and go out to the patch and go get stuff. But they also have like a not scary haunted house and like outside games and food and drinks and attractions. And yeah, probably most of the attractions are like. I'm trying to think. Like, they have, like, little trikes and, like, pony rides for little kids and things like that. They used to have an apple launcher where you could, they had all the sort of rotten apples or the ones that they could, didn't think mm -hmm. they could sell, and you could launch them out into the pumpkin field. Oh, yeah. I, I don't, don't know, know if they, they do that anymore. Corn maze. I don't think they do that anymore because now there's a carousel and stuff down there. Oh, wow. Yeah, I haven't been there in quite a while. Um, oh, Deborah says, congratulations. I have a new daughter-in-law. She's from NE2. Oh, Aww. congrats to you. Chase says, it's where pumpkins go to die. I mean, kind of. When we, by the time, since we went, like, late October. It's going to be too much. Um, it was looking a little sparse where they were taking us out to go look at the pumpkins to pick. Oops, that's brighter than I want. Let's just try another layer of this. We used to go when you were kids. Mm -hmm. It keeps growing. They keep adding to it. Yeah, they definitely, they definitely have. Like this year alone, there was like, it looks like they outfitted like ATV type vehicles, but they look like old tiny cars almost. Cute. Yeah, and um, you can ride those around a track that they have, and they added a, a big like cider barn and. They're making ciders out of the apples and, and the other fruits that they grow there. So that was that was fun to see. Chase and I hung out there. Drinking? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking and eating kettle corn. Oh, I, you, brought, you brought some oh, kettle corn. Yeah, that kettle corn. so good. It's like four foot long bag of kettle corn. Yeah. Another foot and it's as tall as you. Oh, that was supposed to be funny. <laughs> Chase's phone auto... I think Chase's... Yeah, Chase's phone auto-corrected. <laughs> He caught it. I didn't know if he was going to catch it. Say something funny? Yeah. Well, he was just he was sending um, Deborah congrats in his phone, auto-corrected to Zebra. Oh, funny. But yeah, I did not expect it. At all. I was not the first to find out. No, because I wanted to see you. <laughs> to, to tell you or like hear from you, you know? Yeah, but I think I was, what, 25th? <laughs> no. <laughs> Because I, I only did the people that I... Um, well, you were there for quite a while, so text your friends. Well, the people... Well, I, I handled all the people I could just text, you know? Oh, I'm the trying that to I tease her. Text. She's not letting me. Sorry, honey, go ahead. Oh, no, you're fine. Just trying to tease you. I don't need to be first. Oh, Diane says, that is lovely. You have a bestie with excellent taste. Lovely ring. Congrats. Thank you. I picked it out. I picked it out. When was that? Was that spring? Um, because it's been quite a while. 
Mm, I want to, yeah. I was still wearing, like, I know I wore, like, jeans, coat, my cold boots to go look at it. So if it was spring, it was cold spring. Was it winter? We were still in the apartment. Maybe it was kind of, like, February-ish. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. Late February? Early yeah. March? Because then we moved into the house in May, so it can't be, it wasn't, the ring had existed before house. Because then I feel like it came in, so that it had time to be made, it came in, and then all of a sudden we were like, oh crap, we want to look at a house, don't pick up the ring. Because then that would, um, we had already been like pre-approved for house, and so we didn't want to add any dings to any credit or anything That's like that. Right. So then we had, <laughs> we left ring. Or Chase left ring. I wasn't gonna. I had like said how I wanted it, and then I never saw it like done, done until he gave it to me. Well, you guys have such history at the pumpkin patch. That's what and what's cute, nice. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of good memories there already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we go every year, and I. I don't know if we. I think just our first year we got lucky, and then that was like what everything we did the first year is now our itinerary every year. And we do it every year. And I think I even listed last week everything we do. I think you do. listed everything. Yeah. I'm just playing with values now and layers. Yeah, his belly looks more filled out. Or her belly. Well, everything's a he for you. Yeah. Chase says, pumpkin patch is practically owned by me. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys do it well. Yeah, we were there for, we got there at like 3.30 or 4-ish, and we were there till 8. Oh, I think you, yeah, you called me like 8, 15, 8.30. Yeah. Chase Man's official. <laughs> or one, one step closer to official, because I guess official would be legal. <laughs> That's I guess what I meant by I meant legal. Sorry, I'm kind of I kind of slowed down here a little bit because I'm thinking about rings and pumpkin patches. And... <laughs> I'm excited. Gotta we save money. You gotta it. save money and figure out what you want to do. We jinxed it. Oh, did you get a bot? Yes, we did. Oh, that's probably because I said the word bot. I jinxed it. Chase says, oh no, got the spam bot. What's nice is with the raw sienna, I can get a browner brown by adding some black and then a cooler beige by adding some white and then I've got a nice warm beige. It's kind of fun, I like that. Oh, I think I want that a little warmer or a little lighter maybe. That's really light. So sometimes I just wipe my brush off on a paper towel just so it's sort of clean. Mm. Um. So if my Google Translate is correct. Um, someone asked, um, "Could you? Hello, could you paint a lion?" Oh, I did. Um, the video, the calendar is in this. Uh, what I call the scary shelf. Um, it's gonna post in November if you want to look him. Post in November. Oh yeah, I have the. I, I'm used to my computer being on top of it, so I was like, I don't have it. Um, I didn't bring it over here. I didn't think I was going to need it. Mm -hmm. Lion posting in November. Actually, I'm going to grab some orange. Mm. Oh, yeah, the 13th. Sunday the 13th of November, the lion will post. 10 by 10 lion. It's over to my left. He turned out cute. Yeah, he's over to my left. If they want to see it, just let me know. Okay. Chase, Chase said, stay away bots with a little robot emoji, uh, a red um, octagon, and a, like his a little stop hand emoji. <laughs> I think it's working. He's holding back. Thanks, Chase. We appreciate the help. I'm just going to get another layer. It's wet. I'm trying to make it brighter. 
I could, but I think that's going to be too bright. Alert, alert. Don't like that. I don't want to lose my shadow I've got going there either. I just scratched my head. I wonder how loud that is on mic. <laughs> I'm gonna, I've got some green showing through, so I'm just gonna, oh, that's not dark enough. You can see my brush is kind of dirty. I'm not too worried about it. going a little off track now and just painting whoops I got white in there I don't want that just painting some reddish brown it looks redder I think I don't know how red it looks on the live but it's kind of nice with the green kind of get a little juicier if you like juicy mm, um the I, I, I I'm sorry if I butcher your name Alcimar um, translated for me. Hello. Very good. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, could you paint a lion? Perfect. And I am from Brazil. Perfect timing. So yeah, I, I'm just going to reiterate that it was November the 13th is your lion. I think, and that's exactly the same. It's a lion before. face, so it's a lion portrait, basically. Yes. It's on a little 10 by 10. I can, if you want to grab an M, I yeah, don't mind. Yeah, I'll grab. It's on the, by the chalk wall. By the chalk wall. Um, up on the wall. Oh. oh, literally on the wall. Yeah, I was moving um, stuff around, figuring out what I'm going to switch out for the month of November in the gallery. Hang on, I just panic. You're fine. This is much more red than I want it. I can stand and hover. I think I'm just going to have to cover it up or go with it. I like the red in his tail. Her well, tail. I can kind of see it in the reference photo. Her tail. <laughs> it's, um, is this going to show? I think we showed this last week, which I, it's totally fine. I don't think I can get it all in there. Oh yeah, I think we had this problem last week. Well, and I moved stuff aside, but. I think that's fine, you don't have to move. Yeah, yeah just, just give you a little scan. A little, a little scan. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Very fun. I really got crazy with the details. I think it looks, I, I already told you, but I think it looks like the lion version of one of my cats. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kind of does. Well, she's a tabby. It's got the, yeah, it's got the wrinkle marking on the forehead and then, I'm trying to feel the teeth. There we go. Um, and then the pink nose, white chin. It isn't really blacker there, but I'm just going down and, or darker just to vary the shape a little bit. Um, Diane asks, where are you in the USA? Omaha, Nebraska. So right really, smack dab in the middle of the United States. Omaha itself is probably half a million people. And then if you count the suburbs, I don't know. It's fairly big. It's not super big. I'm getting putsy. I need to, like, paint. Okay, I need to work on, this is looking decent. I need to work on this stuff up here. Um, Susie says, the lion is awesome. Yeah, I really like that lion. Thank I you. love it. I love how the hair turned out. Or the fur, the, I don't know, the mane. I know, I go, it, I, it's fur, but then the mane's kind of like hair. Mm-hmm. Mm, I'll see Mar says, beautiful lion. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Suzanne, oh, he's gorgeous. Thank you. I like, I like doing portraits sometimes because you can get in and get the eyes are bigger and you can get, I like the fur, the hair. Mm -hmm. um, and Diane says, okay, is it cold there? It gets cold. Uh, currently, it's like 50. We get all four seasons. Yeah. Um, you know, it can get, I don't know how cold. Oh, you know, like cold. minus 15 would be a really cold day. Yeah. Um, a really hot day would be 110. I don't know Celsius. I know. I was just about to Google. <laughs> um. I mean, zero is freezing in Celsius, but ours is 32, which is so annoying. Right now, we're going to have days in the 60s and nights right around freezing. That's too much information, sorry. 
that we're having fall right now. You know what I want to do is kind of fix this shape a little bit. I've got it straight. Um, negative 15, if you translate it from, fifth, um, from Fahrenheit to Celsius, is like negative 26, roughly. Okay. Yeah, we get cold. We get lots of... not. I, we haven't gotten a good, good... Like, I remember the... We used to get lots of snow. It's been kind of mm -hmm. kind of iffy. I don't think we've gotten lots of snow since... Maybe I was in high school. I remember that one time I was I was helping you shovel and we went out like four times because it... Oh, yeah. And we there was just like... I have that one photo and there's like piles behind me. Yeah, because I can't... This We have a big snow blur, but I can't even... It's made for a man's hands, and I can't. You have to put like the paddles down and mm -hmm. squeeze it, and I can't get my my thumb. The distance between my hand underneath the handle and my thumb isn't tall enough to even grip it, push it down yeah. to get it to go. You know, I can't. Boy, that orange is so much more transparent than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's interesting. Leanne says, "Wow, love the lion." Yeah, I really. Thank you. He turned out good. It's my first I mean, it's not, when I say it's my first lion, it's not my first animal, so. Mm -hmm. After a while, feathers and fur and hair just, you start to get good at it. He's a big kitty. He's a big kitty. I wasn't, I'm never really happy with him until a few days later. Mm -hmm. I didn't like him. I think it's because I'm on top of it. And I'm like, I know what I wanted differently and it didn't happen kind of stuff. I'm having a hard time getting that orange to cover. This doesn't want to. It's disappointing, and I don't know why. Hmm. The opacity of the orange. Yeah, and it's kind of maybe it's it's old. Maybe because it's older. No, it's oh no, it's not. I made it. Well, the red's old. Maybe the red's sticky or something. I don't know. I need to speed up. We're gonna run out of <laughs> run out of time. This is gonna need a couple a couple layers, maybe. Maybe I just need to stop being so scared with it. There we go. Kind of get over my nerves or whatever's going on here. I want a little, I'm glad I mixed a red because it looks pretty red when it gets on there. I like how you, I like how it's blending into the tail. Ah, it's working. I like, I like a lot. Thanks, honey. You're good moral support. <laughs> yeah. I just called you honey, I realize. That's fine. I don't care. You're 26. <laughs> I did not, I just told everybody your age. <laughs> hey, we're, we're outing me in a lot of areas here. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's fine. I don't care. Stop talking. Just stop talking. I do, what I do think is, um, I remember when Let's try a little white we were talking about, like, oh, once we get to this point, maybe we could do lives and we should start lives. And I was like, maybe you should work in my actual name so then not everyone's just like, favorite daughter. Like, they have to type out that whole thing. <laughs> Favorite daughter this, favorite daughter that, because that's how you'd always refer mostly to me and Jack, or favorite daughter and son. Favorite son, yeah. Favorite, favorite Chase man. <laughs> Speaking of Chase, uh, Chase has to go rediscover his personality. Talk to y'all later. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Chase. Thanks for the chat or for the super chat. Is that a super chat or super sticker? A super chat. Super chat. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chase hung around. He must not think your chickens as entertaining. Because he hung around longer last week. He's not an artist. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, yeah. You know. It's very sweet that he comes. Yeah. I was going to... Well, maybe I will. I'm just kind of playing. Mm-hmm. Filling in and playing. I switched my colors up a little bit. Don't like something I smear. So I think it gets to be more fun once you get a little bit of color down. I've been meaning to say in the beginning-ish of every live, and of course we only have 20 minutes left in our normal time slot, uh -oh. but I remember it. 
but um, if somebody, sometimes I recognize a name, like the name on the um, chat, or like if, if people chat in the chat, that is. Um, and then we mention the Facebook group or something and then ask to join the Facebook group. Oh, um, oh yeah, yeah. I Sometimes I recognize the name, so I've like let people in without answering the questions, but just make sure you answer the questions because sometimes people have their profile locked up enough where I can't tell if it's like a bot account or a real person account. So then I just, you just kind of sit in limbo. So if, and we have a couple sitting in limbo. <laughs> I think we have five sitting yeah. in limbo because we can't, there's nothing, you know, they don't post, they don't. Yeah. They have a photo, but... Well, they probably have their profile locked up where if you're not friends with them... Right. You can't see anything. That, yes, that's a better way to put it. But... Or that's what, actually what's happening. So, if you feel like you're sitting in limbo or it's taken... Usually, I feel like you're, if you're, you're probably accepted within a day or I two. I think so, yeah. Now, don't quote me on that. If you watch this, like, a couple months from now or something, <laughs> we yeah. may have slowed down. But we don't get too many. So, anyway, if you feel like you've been sitting in limbo... Yeah, you don't even have to actually have to answer the questions. You could just say, yes. hi, I'm a real person. I don't want to say where I live or I don't want to mm -hmm. say. I think the questions are... Um, well, it's, it's how did you... Where did you find Annie? Um, mostly that was just for me. I wanted to see who joining the group was coming from. And then, um, so that's more of like, uh, you've been around for a minute question or you've watched some videos. Um that uh but you don't you have to the, watch any to join yes of, of course like if i notice you're a real person i let you in <laughs> um it's what do you say at the end of your videos but if people when people say like i found you on facebook and they haven't watched videos yet they usually just type that and yeah. i let them in yeah but they don't have to know um and then where are you from and if you don't want to say say no thanks or something or leave it blank yeah so and it's just so we can tell you're a real person it's not really the getting the answers right at all yeah we just can't tell mm-hmm Try to keep spammers or people who might want to show up and chat for weird reasons, like we, we had a bot today. Yeah. We're just trying yeah. to keep it, I don't know what, bot free, spam free. I jinxed it. I'm, I think I'm the one that, I brought it up, right? Oh, I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, because I was watching, yeah, I already said, yep, I was the one that brought it up. Dang it. It's okay. Mm, Diane says, are you talking about friend requests on Facebook? No. no. We have um, a, like a, what's it called? Annie Tro Art, Art Friends, Friends group. group on Facebook. And I've been mean, it's been like, I've had a, a couple people in limbo for a few weeks. And I've been meaning to say, and then we only are here once a week. And then I forget every week. Yeah. We just ask questions to weed out, mm -hmm. just to see if you're a real person. Yep. Not to see if you know the answers. A lot of people say, I don't know. I'm like, that's okay. But if you are looking for that group, that group should be... It's linked towards the bottom of this video description. Yeah, I was scrolling. Yep, share your art with me in other kind. Hearted. <laughs> yeah. That was cute. I like that. Lots of puns. Um, uh, friends, Annie Cho, Art Friends Facebook group. Yep, that links you to the group. And then people share, uh, not so much anymore, but in the beginning, it's like if you, cro Emily crochets, so she shared some of that. We have some excellent bakers, crafters. It doesn't have to be painting. Mm -hmm. You can share other artists or other YouTubers' work. We don't have a bunch of rules right now. We, I'm trying to keep it as simple and as fun as possible. I'll share sales. I just have done that recently. Mm -hmm. um, Sometimes there's like three, three or four reference, there's a reference sketch and a couple of reference photos I combined. That's in the Facebook group because it gives me a place to put it. I think that actually is about it. Mm. We're going across the globe today. Cool. So we have Alcimar from Brazil, Rio de Janeiro, and then, uh, I, I'm so sorry if I put your name, Gior, um, from Venezuela. Cool. Hi. Ding, ding, ding. I wonder what time it is where you are. Yeah, I don't have no idea. Could be morning. Now, after I did that, I didn't want it to go quite that far. Just kind of knock it back a little bit. 
Not to come back and knock it back. What needs help? Probably the face. Oh, and a little bit right here. Oh, I had rid of my brush, but I don't think I mind. Mm. Susie says that she's in two Facebook group Facebook groups that occasionally a person ends up in the group that hits on all the women participants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's why we have the questions. I mean, the questions aren't going to be a, a catch-all, but it might no. help. Because technically someone could answer it, like say Facebook, and then say where they're from, and I'll let them in, yeah. and then we have to deal with it. Then we have but... to deal with them. Yeah, we're, mm -hmm. we're trying to nip it in the bud if we can. Mm-hmm. But yeah. yeah, we might. It's not going to be a catch-all. Or, yeah, it's not going to. As long as we're, sm like, uh, right now it's easier just because we, I think there's only 300 or so people in there. Yeah, I don't know. I think so. Um, and she says that admin really has to stay on their toes. I stopped in the middle of my thought. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, I'm waiting. I'm, I wonder if it will get, I assume, it'll go, there'll be a point where it'll be. A lot of people and more monitoring of what's yeah, being posted. Be, it'll be more work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, hopefully make enough. We can pay somebody a little bit to help us. I really like this chicken. Yeah, and I'm, I was trying to do it looser, bigger brush. I, I didn't use that big brush very much, but... I'm going to work on his face some, and then I keep seeing, like, green areas or areas that need a little more defining, and then I don't do it. Mm-hmm. I like that you, I mean, I've already said it a million times, but I really like that you put the red, and you've added it to kind of, like, his neck, too. I like that. Yeah. Green and red are compliments, so it's kind of a win-win. nice, yeah. It's kind of a win-win, which you know. Oops. I want a hunch cam. We need hunch cam. I'm hunching bad today. Mm, Babs just joined and said, hey, ladies, looking beautiful. Love the colors. I agree. Hi. Hope you're having a good day today. Thank you for coming. Susie agrees with me. She loves the red. <laughs> I could let some green show through here, too. I like, yeah. Um... I mean, it's okay. Yeah, underneath where you're painting right now, it kind of, it looks like some green might be. Oh, gosh, we only have 11 minutes. Yeah, let's get to the face. Stop playing with feathers, Anne. <laughs> when I'm in trouble, it's Anne. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's the, it's the, not Annie. the, your government name. The legal name. Yeah, it's your government, like, yeah. People call that the government name. Oh, do they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, if, if, mostly if people go by the nickname, it's like, and then, uh-oh, you just called me by my government name. Okay, so let's put a little bit of raw sienna this eye. Need some color. Hopefully that's in a frame. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I put white in there hoping it would go over lighter. Oh, it kind of did. I just have it so heavy. So I grabbed a number one round, and I'm actually wiping up a little bit. And it's okay if I lose my pupil, I'll just put it back in. Trying to cover some of the white, which I think is my traceable showing through. Mm hmm. And then we need a little. Actually, this didn't work quite as well as I hoped. Let's put a little. Um, I kind of want to put orange, but I don't think it'll cover maybe orange and white. We have 21 friends hanging with us. Hi, friends. I like this back end of YouTube that I can get into now. It's nice. Is it new or you just happened to discover it? I think just the last two lives, two to three lives, it's been there. I think I noticed the user, like the user interface format or whatever, it changed a little bit. And then I was like, oh, okay. And then by the next one, I realized that there was like a um, analytics thing I could click and I can watch like the live. Oh, I didn't realize it was you. new. So I could leave his cheek like that. It's a little bright, little light value. 
So I'm kind of tempted to get some water and some raw sienna and kind of push it back a little bit. So what do you think's going to win out? So far, we just only have finger licking and henny penny. Oh, I felt, totally forgot about it. I know, I kind of distracted everybody. Getting engaged and doing all that <laughs> fancy stuff. Showing off your ring. I feel like Henny Penny is safe. Henny Penny is safe. Finger licking is funny. Finger licking is funny. Oh, um, not, um, bacon's better. I don't know if that makes sense, though. Like, you know. Bacon's better. Don't. Kind of like how, um, what do turkeys say at Thanksgiving, you know? Oh. You like. Well, the. the, the go the, after the, some other animal. The Chick-fil-A cow says eat more chicken. Like he holds a sign that says eat more chicken. Right, that kind of thing. But I don't know if it's reaching. Mm-hmm. I'm just putting in a little black. Kind of scumbling it. Scrubbing it. My nose, if I, hopefully I won't bump my phone, but my nose is like almost on top of my phone. Susie doesn't want to think of her as food. Yeah, she, now that you've given her a full face, she does. So well, we won't do that one. Yeah, she does. Well, I was saying I was a little nervous. It's kind of funny, but. I guess bacon's, bacon is better, I think was the title. Diane says, gobble it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gobble, gobble, yeah. DJ says Sanders. Oh, huh. because KFC, Colonel Sanders. I think yeah. that's the relation. I think so, too. That's what I thought. Mm-hmm. Oh, this it could just be good. Mr. Sanders. <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Sanders. <gasps> Everything's boys for him. Sorry, yes. I kind of, yeah, I, uh, I think she's a little boy crazy. I don't, things just, like, my cars are boys. Yeah, you've, you've had a lot of... Henrietta, Bonita says. Oh, that's cute. That's a good, yeah, I like the hen. Henrietta, Henrietta yeah. I kind of like the beak. I might just leave it. I really jinxed the sand. Uh-oh, bats. Mm-hmm, it's okay. I mean, not okay, but... So I don't know if you can see it, but I painted this, I don't know, a day or so ago. And then you can kind of see some of my chalk lines. And wash them off. Okay, I wrote gobble it up, Henrietta. I need Henrietta. That must not be a chalk line. And Mrs. Sanders. What I kind of want to do, oh, five minutes. I kind of want to see if I can get... I totally fine to have it pink. Can I get it to kind of glow? Mm -hmm. DJ says, I love the light coming on her back. Yeah, I really like that light direction. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. It's a great reference photo for that. Here. In case you came. Oh, sorry, guys. My arm just hit my phone. I'm, I'm not, like, following it exactly, but it's great inspiration. Mm -hmm. I like the ones that you do, the, like, harsh... Dramatic lighting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fun. I think they're easier to paint. What was I going to do? Oh, glow. Glow on the red. Yeah, sorry. No, no, no. It wasn't your fault. Just kind of warm it up with some yellow or orange. <laughs> and this is getting picky. You don't have to do that. Um, Michael says, I was going to Popeye's on the way home, but was too tired now you're painting a chicken. Now I'm really starving. How about Popeyes for the name? <laughs> yeah, I like that. I do like it. Well, here, I'm going to grab a little kind of lighter reddish. I don't have to define this. I start getting kind of picky. This painting could totally be done. That kind of comes down. And then it's got a shadow. 
If you so, named it Popeyes, would you have to put like the? They pro it's probably like a TM or a copyright with like the R, you know, reserved thing. <laughs> um, it could. Yeah. It could. It kind of depends on the company. I mean, technically, I shouldn't do it. Uh huh. Oh, Diane says, "What was Popeye's girlfriend's name?" Oh, Olive. It could in the background's green. Olive. Olive. I have Olive the pink. Uh, don't I? Oh, I don't know. But I could do that. Olive is cute. That's you know, remember so that good. one of the first pigs I painted? It was palette knife. I don't know if you remember. It was a front facing. Mm. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I wouldn't expect you to remember all my paintings. Olive oil. It's olive oil. Olive oil. Oh, is it? Yeah, it is olive oil. You were right. I don't know if her last name's oil or if like her first name's all olive oil. I don't remember. Oh hi. Oh, was she like dreaming? She yawned. Oh. And she did like the. It was kind of like the when she sounds like she's powering down yawn. So Freckles is here in the studio, but she's been sleeping through most of the lives. I keep playing with color and value, and I was gonna put a few grasses in, and I'm like, just keep. Here, maybe a little orange and white. Yeah, I like all these names. Oh, thank you guys for the help, because the, the title does help sell them. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. That's not doing what I want to do. Maybe I'll just grab a little. Oh, it's raining. I thought I heard something. I didn't even realize it was raining. Oh, we need it. It rained a little bit the other day, but it really didn't. I think we're eight inches below normal. I could have told you how much it rained because my it was so it was also so windy that my trash can lid kept flapping open, so it collected a lot of water. Oh, did it? Yeah. Yeah. So are we looking pretty good? Mm-hmm. I love that light. Yeah, that's just white on the comb and on the waddle. Is waddle is correct? I think I like the little bit of orange on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it warms do, it up. I do have little bits of green showing through, but I don't know if I mind. A little orange down there is kind of yummy. Mm, Hema says, this little fella is safe from me as I am fish -itarian. Oh. Which is, I think, the same thing as pescatarian. Yeah. I believe, I believe. I, yeah, I think so. All right, let's put a couple of grasses on it. We'll call it good. Sunny side up. Oh, that's also a good oh, that's name. that's cute, Sweetie. and it's sunny. It is. Great names. Now it's going to be hard. There's too many good I know. ones. Uh, what I do, though, is I, I write them down, because I will paint more hens and roosters and chickens in general, so. And to, to prove she's not lying, right next to me is still the sticky note from when we did the crow. Yeah, and usually I stick that in. <laughs> I've got a notebook with names in it. And we did that, like, first, of, like, first thing of October, I think. Yeah, I'd save them. Okay, I think I'll do... Well, we could do green. I kind of want to do green. It's more beige in the reference photo. But let's do a couple... I'll tie in the background a little bit. Mm, Hema says, can see the details now on the close-up look. The eye detail is amazing. Thank you. I think the eye's a little big. When I did the traceable, I couldn't see it at all. Mm, when mm -hmm. I traced it on, so I, I, I winged it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this big chuckle is what made it funny. That was bad. Um, yeah, the, the really bad, this, almost the Halloween chuckle. Mm -hmm. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Oh, there goes my watch saying it's, we're done. Thanks. So I went ahead and painted it because I also needed to get it into my um, bifocals. They're actually progressives, but those that, you, oh, you, that wear those. Mm -hmm. um, oh, look at my watch here. Can you see the ghost? Oh, there it came back. That makes me laugh. I think you fully swiped the painting with yellow. Huh? I think you swiped the painting with yellow. Oh, right here? Oh, was that intentional? Yeah, I'm putting okay, some good. grass in. Good. That made me panic a little bit. Oh, I'm like, where? Where? But I'm going to put some green grass just because we have a green background. Diane says, love the beak. Yeah, I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. it, the, beak could, the beak could be um, peachier, beigeier, but you don't have to be exact. Mm, Kima put a little ghost emoji and says, aw, cute. Isn't that cute? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was funny when you showed it to like, me look at my watch. on I'm FaceTime. A little, I'm a little kid. I got a rainbow bracelet on. <laughs> well, and usually that watch face is the, the mini one where her hands Yeah, move. usually it's mini dancing. Mm -hmm. Should I make the ghost go again? Ah. <laughs> okay. 
<clears throat> yes, I'm a grown up occasionally. I love him. He's so funny. I'm hoping there's one for, um, I don't know, Christmas, winter, mm -hmm. something. But the open mouth, like the, ah. uh, I know it's cute. It, 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 it does remind me of when, um, like sometimes I'll send you the good nights with the, the emojis, the emoji guys, like the animals. And all I do is I just stick, I'm like, good night. And then I just make the tongue like of the emoji stick out. Oh yeah. I like that. Yeah. It it's reminds funny. me of that. It does remind me of that. So I was going for a darker green and now I keep lightening it. Which is funny. Ooh, we could go a little. Here, let's wash, wash off my brush. Let's put a real dark one in. So this is um, phthalo green and black. Right here, this puddle. So it's got one that comes right up here. I don't want to put that one in there. Um, I probably should put one. So a lot of times I'll have my grasses or flowers bending in. I mean, this keeps you here. It's so strong. Keeps you in the painting. Sometimes I'll have darker corners. I only have darker corners down here to help just keep the viewer in the painting. Um, the longer I can keep you engaged in it, um, just honest to gosh, the better chance, hi Freckles, she's like, you should be done by now. The better chance I have of selling it for one thing. But I also want you to enjoy it, hang out and enjoy the painting. You know, if you're looking at it at the gallery. I think this aqua might be kind of neat. She's trying to get in my lap. Uh oh. So I just went lighter so it would show. Just switched values. Mm -hmm. Oh, I kind of like that. Hi, Becca. We could put like little, little dots. I didn't hold this one up as much because I wasn't sure about aiming. Hmm. I, I like the little dots. I like the little dots. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. I'm just going to put a couple more grasses in and then we'll say goodbye. Um. What's nice about this one compared to Albert Eggstein, which was a baby chicken in an egg shell, um, you don't actually have to put any grasses in the background if you don't want to. I mean, you could put dirt in and stuff, but it's close enough that you could just put in some tall grasses and call it done. Okay, let's do a beige one. Or maybe, I don't want to grow that one anymore. We could grow this one a little more. Let's do this again. Is Freckles in your lap? Yeah. I have like one hand on the microphone in case she tries to give me a hug. Like I can <laughs> rip it off of me real fast. <laughs> Cause she always like covers it and then all we hear is yeah. of her fur rubbing against the mic. Yeah. Yeah. She woke up and said, I need pets and attention and love. I don't really like the grass yet. She's just, losing less hair. You can tell it's getting chilly. Out. Oh, she yeah, she's so much better. She was just terrible mm -hmm. all spring and summer. It's like freckles. She says it's not my fault. I got long hair. No, but I've never seen her lose fur that bad or yeah. hair that bad. And she didn't go like go bald. She should have. <laughs> you produce a lot of hair, Beckles. Diane says, I just realized there's um, a one hour difference, 8.30 here. I have really enjoyed watching while I finish up my projects. Yeah, I know. Um, I have a friend um, that is in New York. And then there's another, and then that friend group, there's another friend that's in Canada. And they're in the same time zone. So it's quite yeah. interesting. <laughs> like, you never know, really. Yeah. Yeah, like we're only, I mean, we're closer to Canada than to the tip of Texas or to Florida, you know? Yeah. We're, you just have to drive through North and South Dakota and we'll be in Canada. Which is why it annoys me that it's like triple the price to send anything to Canada It is than it is to even get it all the way to like Alaska or Hawaii. Yeah, customs isn't always... Make doesn't always make sense. But it's another country. 
which is why. Mm hmm I think I might stop here. They're kind of skinny, but... Yeah, I guess I am paying someone to probably look at that package and deem it okay know, to come Yeah, I don't know exactly country. what they do with it, but yeah. But I'm like, dang, you have so much farther to travel to get to Hawaii, and it's like 10 extra dollars to get to Canada? Yeah. Well, yeah. Varying the um, color of it can be kind of fun. Make it look a little more real. Mm, Diane says trying to fly in Canada is whopping expensive. Oh, is it? <laughs> Cheaper to go to Ireland than to fly to NFLD. Dang, Newfoundland. I assume that's what um, NFLD stands for. I don't know. I'm going to have this one catch a little light. Should I stop? Just stop? I'll probably be here for a while because... Do you need to work? Someone's making biscuits. Oh, I'm going to pull out a few. <laughs> it's in the reference photo. You don't have to do this, but you can kind of pull out some... Wild feathers. Newfoundland. Province on the east coast, Newfoundland. Some soft ones here. Probably wouldn't have a bigger one up there. Just kind of softening things with a little bit of First, if I do it everywhere, it's nowhere. It's gonna be too much. Yeah. I kinda like that though. I had lost an edge here, it was about the same value as the background, but then I put a piece of grass or weeds or whatever over it. It's kind of funny. You know what I need to do is I need to stop. Does it have enough weeds, grass? I don't know what to call it. I don't know. I like your weeds and grass. I know, but do I have enough? You can overdo every, absolutely everything. I don't think he's overdone yet. No. That's a two. I'm kind of having some of the tops catch the light. Mm-hmm. I like that. I like that a lot. can, like, put some little seeds or something on it, too. Fuzz. <laughs> Grass hairs. Grass hairs. I was, that's what I was thinking. But I'm like, okay, that's just weird. <laughs> it is. There's a little, it's kind of like when you let your grass, the grass get too long and then he gets his little tassel -y tops. Little seeds, yeah. Mm -hmm. We might have enough. I don't know where to go next. I don't know. I feel like it's they're a little s sparse. Like we need a few more. Chat, let me know. Done? More? More? <laughs> I can hear you, Emily. I was just whispering to chat. <laughs> oh, I think Frickle sees something outside. Oh, good. She all of a sudden left my lap real fast and then was looking out the window and now she's heading. She's doing the I saw something walk. Mm -hmm. Kind of the brisk. Yep. She's trying to get somewhere to see somebody. Whether it's a raccoon or a neighborhood kitty. I think we need some green ones, huh? Mm, Diane says, are there any in the photo? Are there any in your reference photo? Or no? Bonita says, needs lots more. <laughs> oh, I like the yellow one. Oh, he does just kind of have a sprig. He got one going right over his... Oh, sorry, I had to I had to brush my mouth. He's got one going right up here, but I don't want one up Yeah, here. no. I like that yellow one you added. That's nice. 
Yeah, I think the sprig makes sense in the reference photo because you see that dirt behind him. But I wouldn't mind more in yours. Sorry, guys, I don't know where to go. So I'm kind of grouping them a little bit so I don't have them all lined up like soldiers. I'm a little fatter. It's okay if I lose it. And strengthen it a little bit up there. So we could come back and put like little, maybe that's what I mean. Mm, DJ says, I like it this way. Uh oh, time to stop. There's conflict in the chat. <laughs> um, Diane says, what about using a rigger and doing a swoop? Oh, totally. I don't think I actually have a rigger. What's a rigger? Really long, thin. In my mind, in my, I, what I think she means is a really long, thin liner brush. Oh. And they can really wiggle. I don't think I even They use one. those for nail art. <laughs> yeah. A lot of times I try to use, I don't use that many different brushes. Or sometimes I'll whip out the number one liner brush. So what we could do too, which is going to probably get me in trouble, but you could, um, okay, so half is like, so we don't want to go half, but we could just kind of. I don't know if this is going to make a hill of difference. Hmm. I just don't want to put it at half. Mm -hmm. I like that. So you're not going to overdo it. And then I'm trying, like, ah. Uh. I like that. Is that helping? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It, it grounds him a little more. A little more. He's floaty. He is a little floaty. I like, I like, I, I like. I think my favorite that made me laugh was the duck that turned into a statue because it had water behind it, and I made it in the sky. I didn't even see that I messed yeah. that up a bit, you know? Like, oh, well, that happens. Yeah. Just sell them for a little less. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it might dry too dark. I'm going to have to come back and put it back in. Mm-hmm. So you could also just kind of do some horizontal, just emphasize it a little bit. Is this going away? The drying side, a little drying faint bit, bit, yeah. But I still can kind of see it. Are you can put like little flowers back in there. Diane says that looks good. I agree. Is it helping? Mm-hmm. Mm, I skipped. I missed some. Um, Diane says, right, great for W slash C. I don't know. W slash C for the rigger brush. Watercolor, maybe? <gasps> yes, I bet. I've seen I've seen oil painters use riggers. Um, um, Ken Jansen. Watercolor, you got it. <laughs> she just um, said watercolor. Ken Jansen paints in acrylic a lot, and I think he uses a rigger. He's a YouTube person if you want to look him up. He's in Nebraska, too, which oh, was so is? funny when I figured that out. Ah, that's fun. Um, and Diane also says, but I do use it in acrylics, too. Oh, sure, you totally mm -hmm. could. Suzanne says, love, heart emoji, it. So I can overdo this, too. That's what, one thing, that, you know, people are like, do you get nervous to paint live? No, I get nervous not to, I don't step back from it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that does help. Mm -hmm. Just give it a little more sense of ground. Mm. DJ says, draw a daisy and call her Daisy. That would be very... Totally could. <laughs> Diane says, stop, it's perfect. <laughs> Start a fight. Mm -hmm. Stop, it's perfect, and I keep going. Yeah. I'm going to put a little... I like when you add your whites, though. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm going to put, like, a little... Turn your little lights on. A little... Mm-hmm hunk of junk to entertain a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. 
Now I've got four of them. I was just saying to Emily, you always do odds. Yeah, because I made a fourth pom-pom spider for my front door spider web. And I got the, you do it in odds. I, did, I didn't tell you. I had to, because my front door is like metal or whatever it is. Um, I don't know what my front door is made of. I was really like, but it's metal because it's, metal, yeah. it's cold. Like it looks like a, your front door or some, a normal front door. Yeah, but it's metal. Doesn't matter. Um, I had to, to get the sticky tack to stick because after it had gotten cold to put up that next, another than fourth spider, I had to use my hair dryer on my front door and heat up the spot I wanted to stick the sticky tack to. It gets too cold where my wood door wouldn't get so cold. Mm hmm Oh, Interesting. You know what could be kind of fun and I didn't do? Bonilla says much better. I agree. Like you, you grounded. Um, like an old grounding? You grounded either um, Henrietta, Mrs. Sanders, olive oil, or sunny side up, or gobble it up. You grounded them. <laughs> yeah, sometimes those horizontal strokes are actually better because it, it says I'm off in the distance, ground. Um... Mm hmm It does. And really, I think I might want this a little lighter up here, but I think it's okay. Because really, you really, like, this is a, it's right in the center, but I can get away with it because this is a chicken yeah. a portrait. But, like, that's almost, like, smack dab in the center of everything. <laughs> and it says, look at me, look at me. Mm -hmm. um, but what I was going to do, and I really should stop, is I've got them all, I need, I, I should bend one. So start mm -hmm. it looking down. And you can just do it in little... If you don't want to draw it, you could do it in little square bits. That one's not very dark, but we could put a little orangey oh. in there. Well, that's a good idea. Let's put a little light orange in it. Yeah, Diane said, I thought, thought where you put the light dashes, maybe a hit of warm orange or brown. I wasn't, I, I said that like it was my idea, but it wasn't. <laughs> Tie the hen to the background. Yep. Yeah. I'm not sure I followed that. You don't like the whites? Which is okay if you don't. Is that what you mean? Oh, yeah, we are. Um, I wasn't sure what it that was. It could just tie. It don't, you don't have to. Um, I could. But I, because I like how they pop, so do like a light, 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 light. Good. Or not all of them. I'm going to grab a little lime green. Yeah, it stands out better on the chicken. I don't know if it's going to, it might push it back. Okay. Anyway, you can have one curling. Okay, we want to, and then we're going to call it good. How do you know when it's done? When I'm not making changes that really make much difference. I need to step back from it too. So I wouldn't ever call it done until the next day, personally. Because sometimes I walk into my studio the next day and go, oh, mm -hmm. I don't like that. So you want some of the whites, orange or yellow? Mm-hmm. <sighs> this one's not very white. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just, yep, yeah. yep, yep. I've, like, hit this one three or four times with paint just to get it whiter. Yeah, the greens, it's still pretty greeny. It just sometimes takes. So thinner in the beginning and then thicker at the end. Mm -hmm. Of course, now I can't hit these with. Emily's getting tired. I am. I have not slept that great the last two days. The cat's bugged me twice. Or, I don't think, I don't know if Maya slept with me. Okay, back up, my brain. Um, Two nights ago, Maya slept with me for the first time since we've moved into the house. And we've been in the house for like six since months. May. Yeah. And she used to sleep with me every single night, or at least in the morning. If she didn't sleep with me that night, she would come in the morning and like, by the, uh, around, she like knew the time I kind of woke up and she would um, lay in bed and I would give her like pets and we'd cuddle for like an hour before I usually get out of bed. And then, um, so I was like, trying to sleep in the most uncomfortable position because she was there 
and she's not used to the ride like Mango is. Like, I can just move my legs all around Mango when she sleeps with me because she's used to it. So I didn't want to wake her up. So I was trying to fall asleep in the most uncomfy position to keep her there. And then last night, I think Mango kept ooching. I think it must have gotten a little cold because Mango kept ooching and scooching closer to me. So then that just takes up my entire side. And then all of a sudden this little cat has, you know, a third of the bed. <laughs> I know it. And she gets so long. Like, she just sleeps, like, her, like, arms are above her head and all splayed out. And then her back legs are all splayed out. Like, she just looks so long. Oh, funny. It's like she literally turns into, like, four feet long. That's funny. Mm-hmm. She's boss. She is. So I sign my paintings on the back, but I don't sign it with the signature that I would sign a mortgage with or um, documents with. I sign it Annie Tro, which isn't my legal name. Uh, but on the front, I paint such little things like ornaments. I just put my initials on the front and then one dot for favorite son and one dot for favorite daughter. Are you going to have to add a dot for Chase? I might. <laughs> well, we'll have to negotiate that. Yeah. He'll Some... have to drop a contract in. Yep. Maybe do a, um, a PowerPoint about why he should be added as a dot. Yep. Too bad he left early. Yeah. Do you guys have any questions? I'm getting ready to say goodbye. Do I need to... Here, maybe I need to do like a little drive through here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hema liked the drive through last time. Face is, well, I was going to say the face is pretty simple. One coat for the eye because I already had some white in there. I could mess with it some more. But I definitely have good values. That's what's going to sell it. Mm-hmm. I agree. And then chickens are popular, at least here in Omaha, Nebraska. Lots of farm. I put some color in some of those white blobs. I like. Yeah, it adds... Nice variety. I need to step back from it and look at it. I really can't. I mean, I like it. I just can't really see what might be wrong with it. I like the little soft. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Bonita says, great evening, ladies. Cute chicken. Thank you. Thank you for coming. It's a good one to try for any skill level. It um, really helps you see values. Mm -hmm. And that's never a bad thing to work on. Love how she turned out. Beautiful colors. Thank you, Thanks. Susie says. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for all the great um, title ideas. That's fun. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to say goodbye. What do you think, Em? I think, I think you're safe to say bye. Okay, guys. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I want to lay this on here, but I don't know where it's wet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I super appreciate all your supports, comments, likes, shares. It means the world to me. Great, big, happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.